Hello everyone, Bob Francisco here again. All right, today I would like to give you a very quick lesson on Excel on how to calculate amortization using what if analysis using two input table. Okay, this is about calculating the mortgage, uh, I mean the payment per month with having a loan amount of 1.5 million with interest of 12% per annum number of years to pay is five years. So we're gonna calculate this one by starting with equal sign, negative payment. Why negative? Because we're deducting this payment amount from the 1.5 million with a certain interest rate, okay? So open parenthesis, we're gonna get the rate, 12% per annum divided by 12, to get the monthly interest, right? Then comma, then the term five years to pay, we're gonna change that also to month. So we're going to multiply that by 12, okay? So comma, and then the value, the amount of the loan, okay? Then close it, okay? So, in this scenario, the 1.5 million uh, loan with 12% per annum interest and five years to pay, we'll be paying 33,367 per month. That would be our amortization. But in case they'll be different in terms of the years to pay, let's say 10 years, uh, 14, 20, 25 years, they're supposed to be 15 years. Okay. So, and also different scenario, different number of years and different uh, interest rate per month. So that's why we're doing the what if analysis. What if we're paying it in 10 years? What, what if we're paying that amount with a 3% interest, something like that. So we're gonna include this amount payment in our table here. That's why we're moving it here, okay, for it to be included in the table. So highlight this one. And then you go to the data, what if analysis data table, we're gonna be using two input table, one row input and one column input. So in the row input, we're gonna be inputting the, the years to pay. So we're gonna get it from here, the five years and then go to the column input cell. We're gonna be inputting the interest rate, 12%, okay? And then click okay. Okay, we have all the numbers now. Okay, let's say you're paying five years to pay with 3% interest, that would be 36,153. So the shorter the years to pay, bigger your amount to pay per month. The longer the term, the smaller amount will be. Like for example, in the, let's say for example, 4%, 27,625, five years to pay. But if you're going to pay 25 years, that would be 7,000 only, 7,918, comparing to 27,625, five years to pay. So some, some uh, clients of the bank will go for long-term. Some clients are going for a short-term. So let's say, for example, we change this to 12 years. Okay, the numbers also changes, right? Okay, let's say the, we're gonna pay this in 18 years term. Okay, the numbers will also change. Okay, so even if you make changes here, the amount will also be changing. Like for example, you want to change this to 5%. So the amount changes as well, okay? So that's how you do your data inputting to input cell, to input table, okay? Calculating the amortization. So this would be your payment, different scenario, a monthly payment. So using the what if analysis to input table, okay? That's it for now. Thank you for watching.